The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. I can say it ain't so, but darling, what's the use? The dark of the chocolate, the richer the taste, and that's where it's at. Now run and tell that. Welcome to Feed Me Family, the season finale. We're here. We made it. Some of us by the skin of our teeth, but look where we are. Here together for five o'clock Sunday happy hour. We had to flip and switch it on him a little bit. Keep you on your toes, keep me on my toes. But thank you for coming back, because we're here and it's another day and we made it and I am so excited. Hopefully, as you can see, today's theme, I feel like is appropriately, Hairspray the Musical. And I am hopefully giving you some uh, motor mouth feels. We got a little situation happening. Thanks Amazon Prime for her. We're, we're gonna see what's happening. You might just get a replay come this fall because I feel like she might be able to do something. Might be able to do something with her. Um, so yeah, we're just giving you a little bit of 1960s um, throwback vintage feel um, because the state of the world kind of feels like that right now. So, I mean, you know, we're doing it. We're getting through. And today's show is just dedicated to like all things blackity black. That's, that's what we're doing. And I can't thank Theater Horizon enough for giving me this platform to be here, to make fun treats, to talk about all the things, to make some amazing adult beverages that hopefully you will try. I just, I'm so happy that I can be here and do the things I want to do and have some fun with my folks. And that's what we're going to do today. So, of course, you got to tell me what you're drinking. Tell me what you're snacking on, and we're going to get it started. Now, first things first, <laughs> today's sandwich, I have named her Food for the Soul Chicken Sandwich. Now, once we start getting into her, the rest of you might look a little bit familiar, but we're not going to call names. We're not going to call brand names because she's Food for the Soul Chicken Sandwich today. All right, let's get started. Let's get all the things. Got all the ingredients happening on here on today. And I'm going to tell you all about it in a second. All right. Let's get the chicken out of the fridge. I'll be right back. Don't miss me. I'm coming. Here I come. There we go. We've got her marinating and doing her thing. Now, we've got some stuff happening here. So in here, I have a combination of regular white flour and spelt flour because she gives her a crispier coating. I feel like the spelt flour and some of the other ones that you guys might be more familiar with, other than just white flour, gives it that nice crispy crunch. And that's what we want because our chicken has to give a little hmm. We want it to have some, some power to it. So let's get her a cup. Up in here, there's that. Thank you for your service. Now we have some cornstarch. Also, for crispy deliciousness. One more with a half cup, okay. Here we go, we're gonna pop that in there. Bam. All right, thank you. Now. Of course, you can season her however you would like. You know I'm gonna put all the things, and this is pretty much actually what the recipe calls for, um, because the whole point in like the most tasty and delicious um, crispy chicken sandwich is all about the seasoning. So, we've got some onion powder. Just gonna be pretty liberal with it. Oh, these words mean so much more, don't they? Liberal. <laughs> I didn't even make the drink yet, guys. We have some pepper, if I can get it open. I did. Thank you. I don't want to start getting embarrassed in front of my family already. Because y'all already know <laughs> something is bound to happen. Because that's what happens with us here at Feed Me. With your amateur quarantine cook. Um. Okay, so now that just turned into a spicy chicken sandwich. <laughs> I went a little heavy on the cayenne. But you guys already know that I like the spice. You know how I like it. So if I was ordering this at one of your favorite 
chicken restaurants, I would get spicy anyway. So like maybe it was on purpose. Y'all don't know. <laughs> this is a little bit of paprika, a little color, a little flavor, and just a little pinch. We just want a little pinch of salt. We don't like things too salty, but we do want to wake up the flavors. Let's get all this out of the way. There we go. And we're just going to get that mixed all up. Okay. Now, you know what we have to do? We have to go talk to our pan and get her prepared and together. All right. Hey, girl, what's happening? Let's get our vegetable oils for the frying. Let's get that going. Now, I'm just using the little guy on today because we're just going to do one piece of chicken. Come on, open flame. Here we go. And you know, I like to start her out just a little bit high so we can get to where we got to go. We don't have time to play games with her. I'm going to put a little bit more oil because we do want her to fry hard. You know how we like it, a fry hard. Yes, salt, pepper, ketchup, hot sauce, absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna get that heated up. Not too much, you don't wanna show off for the people. Okay, there we go. So, for this chicken sandwich, um, even though when you look at the recipe, it says to use chicken breast. I prefer chicken thighs because they are more dense, they are more meaty, that dark meat, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone, in between, before, above, and below. A good old dense, hearty chicken thigh with that juicy dark meat is exactly what a perfectly crunchy, delicious chicken sandwich calls for. So that's what I did. Drama much? <laughs> so this has been marinating overnight. And what is up in this bag is, um, this is the trick to making it like for real, for real. It's buttermilk up in there. And then we have seasoned her up pretty much with the same thing that we put in the flour. So there is onion and garlic powder. There is um, salt, pepper, ketchup, hot sauce. No, I'm just, <laughs> just kidding. There's salt and pepper. Um, and there is uh, a little bit of paprika in there. So let's get some tongy tongs. Where are you? Here we go. And let's get this little, this little chicken thigh up in here. Let's do her. Okay. We don't need you. Let's get you a little rinsey rinse. All right. Let's get you. Let's turn you down a bit. I will be right over. Promise. Okay. So you just want to get her a nice coating. And then what it tells us that we want to do is that once it's all coated and together and doing its thing, that you want to pat a little extra right on top because that's what's going to get it the nice little layer that she needs. Let's get her in the crevices. Let's get it all up in them crevices because we need a crispy crunch when it's time for sandwich. All right. You know I love to make a good mess. All right. So we've got this little top situation happening. We've got a crispy crunch. All right, are we ready? Okay, that's lovely. She's like singing gently. That is so fun. It's like, I'm ready. Yes, come on. I like that, it sounds so pretty. Let me give a little rinse. Get the chicken bits off my fingers so we can keep the party going. Okay. Now we don't want it up like too, too high because here's the thing. A crunch on the outside and some raw pink chicken on the inside. Listen, that's not what the people looking for. It's not what we want. So I'm going to cover you up and I'm just going to let you do your thing, but we don't want it to be too high. Okay. Now for the favorite part, we are on today, family, making a blacker the berry, blackberry caipirinha punch. We have a little treat at the end of that. So 
if you guys know me, and I may have mentioned this before, I love a Kai Pudinia. That's like my favorite, just like craft cocktail of all times because I love the muddle. I love to chew a little fruit with my beverage. The cachaça is just popping. It's like smooth and the fruit just makes it nice and sweet. And pretty much in like your standard cachaça, there is no chaser. She's like just like sugar and liquor, but we're gonna do something a little different today. So this is actually going to be, um, it's a caipirinha punch. So it's kind of like a sangria caipirinha mix. She's like a whole fusion of just culture and flavor and life. So let me get all the things that I need. Hold on, hold on. Let's get rid of the evidence that we made a mess. Clean that up. All right, put her down. Let me just gather up all my things. Okay, got some fruits we're gonna need. Let me get my fun big old knife. You know I like the big boy. There we go. We need some things to measure. We've got some blackberries. <laughs> Black berries. Yes, we do. Okay. All the things. Now, hold on. How you feel over here? All right. We're doing good. Not quite well and slow, but we're going to let her chill because we have some things to do over here. Some very important things that need to happen up, up in here. Okay. So, the only reason that in this case, I'm going to go by the measurements of the recipe because y'all know usually I just get her here and just get to get it out of that because it's fun. It's way more fun than measuring things, you know. Um, but in this case, because it is a punch and it has so many moving parts, we want it to have the right balance of all the things. I don't want it just to be like super liquory or like too much orange juice. So I'm actually going to go by the for real recipe. So away we go. We have for you, let's do these guys first. This is, it's supposed to be a cup of blackberries. It's a little bit more. We like things fruity and delicious. I'm just gonna pop that in there. We have two limes that if, oh, you wanna act up, see? You always know. You always know it's gonna be something up on here on Feed Me. And then we're just gonna squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. There we go. Let's get the sticker off of here. We don't need any adhesive in our drinks. Okay. Come on. There we go. And a squeeze them and a squeeze them. There we go. Oh, these are juicy. This is a way to be. Limes are sometimes touch and go with that. That's why I usually get other kinds of citrus fruits when I order drinks when I'm out. Remember that? Remember going out for drinks? Remember happy hour that wasn't in your house? Remember when you had a favorite bartender that wasn't yourself? Oh, that seems so long ago. Oh, hey girl, okay, I hear you. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? What's happening? I'm a savage. Yes. Golden brown and delicious. Keywords, family. Keywords here. Okay, let's let you do what you're going to do. Okay, so we've got two limes quartered in a blackberry, and we're just going to muddle to life because there has been enough death up in these streets that we want to do things to life these days. That's that's going to be my new motto because 2020 is out here snatching edges, snatching breath, snatching life, but I rebuke it. So we just going to muddle to life. That's what we're going to do. All right, so now that this is good and slathered together, come on, girl. Okay, here we go. Now that she is just about where we need her to be. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you over here. Okay, 
So let's get it going. We have, this is the cachaça. Here we go. Um, we've got a little Cabernet Sauvignon. So let's get some measurements popping. Right. Okay, you want to show out? Now I got to be all with, uh-huh. That's all I needed to do. Like I would if y'all weren't watching. <laughs> all right, cachaça, we've got six ounces and this is a two ounce boy here so one two three i can count a little bit ah a little extra for good measure all right we've got okay okay all right calm yourself yeah okay you were just saying something. That's all. You can talk, but when you get a little loud, I start to get a little nervous. Okay. We've got a Cabernet Sauvignon, and what are we going to give her? Two ounces. So that's one of these. That voice right here. And boom. Thank you very much. Let's get you out of the way. Orange juice. Now this recipe called for actually like juicing the oranges and things like that. We're not going to do all that because we want to keep things simple here at Feed Me. We want it to be fast, quick, we need our drinks. So we've got two ounces of OJ, one of these. Boop. Thank you. We've got cranberry juice, two ounces. I've got 100% cranberry juice here. She's not a blend. There's no sugar added. We're just going straight for the twang, two ounces. Now, the simple syrup. This I went ahead and just made. It's just equal parts water and sugar over medium heat until it melts. Bam, you got yourself some simple syrup. Two of these guys for a little sweeten. There. And there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Let's check in on our chicken thighs. See how she's feeling. Hold on, hold on. Here I come. Now what the recipe is going to want to tell you, it's like two to three minutes or something ridiculous on either side. But you know, to get that good, good crisp, it's going to need a little bit longer than that. So, like maybe just a couple more minutes on that other side. Because once we actually get her dressed in things, it still needs to have a good crisp to it. Okay, we have all of our things in here. And now we just want to give a good stir and get all the bits nicely meshed together all as one blackberries lime colored flavored citruses wines juices all the things all meshed together living happily ever after picture it imagine it can you i can we're working on it aren't we we are it's gonna take some work but we're doing it we're out here doing the work. Okay. Thank you. Now I just want to put a little bit of ice up in here and give it a little mix just to chill it on the spot. Not too much because of course we don't want to water it down. We definitely don't want to water it down. Let me see. Let me see how you feel. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now don't get funny on me when I'm trying to get you out of this here pan for my family. Okay. All right, let's get you over here. Let's let her drain and have a little bit of fun over here. Okay, I'm just going to mix it around and get it chilled just right up in the pitcher here. That is really pretty first of all just take a look get up in that mm-hmm that color 
that delicious, beautiful, dark black berry color. We love it. Okay, now let me just give you a little chat about these glasses. I am obsessed. Amazon really came through this week because, yeah, I've been in some work on Amazon Prime. I'm gonna just keep it 100 with all of my family up in here. Um, yeah, they probably like know me. Oh, oh, look, here comes Don Bun. She's ready for another. Oh, yeah. But these babies, this is a cute little situation. These are the Zodiac constellations. I don't know if you can see that. Let me, let me YouTube it <laughs> for you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe behind here. Ah, don't lose the liquor. Maybe you can kind of see. There are constellations all over these glasses. I will photograph and put it on the thread. But these are whiskey glasses. They were not that much. And they're like quality. Like I really love these glasses. And it came in like three days. Thanks Amazon, but I'm gonna put all that um, on the link of things if you're interested. Um, they're super cute and I like them a lot. And that's what we're using today. Let me get the top on here. Here we go. Pop the top. Don't act funny now. Okay. Uh, uh. All right. So we're going to get some of our handy dandy black, black or the berry caipirinha punch. Let's get you in here. And you know, you have to have a beverage for my team. My one man team. And now I just want to put some of the goodness of the muddle in each glass. Because I like a little chew. I like a little chew with my beverage. I just do. Mm-hmm. Let's get a little bit of you in there. Come on. There. Just just a little scotch. Texture. We like texture. Key words, look at that. Okay, let me sketch you here. Now hold on, we can't have a mess. We can't have a mess. Okay. Let's draw her up with the little eyes. And yes, I know these aren't ice tongues. I'm not as fancy as one could be. But we're here, family. We're here on Feed Me. Let's get you in here. If that don't look yummy and delicious, then I don't know what does. Now the last little feature is this guy here. Let's slip slide these babies over. Okay. Let's get you. Okay, will you fit? Let's have that just in case. Because if I tried and it didn't work, I'd be mad. You and you. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. And here we are. Here we have it. The Black of the Mary Blackberry Kybidinia Punch. We're going to give it a little taste and see what happens. Here we are. Crew, village, team. Salud. All right. Mmm. That is rich. I don't know how something can taste dark and rich. But this little thing here, that's what she's giving me. A little citrus pop gets you right up under the thing. Mwah! Ooh. Yeah. What do you think, team? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, this might be gone before the sandwich comes. <laughs> Guys, I need to take a picture at the end. I don't want to finish it. Mmm. But the picture might be a whole nother one. So don't judge me if she's gone by the time the show is over. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. It has done us a good deed. And we're going to get our soul food fancy brand name chicken sandwich up and at them. Okay. Let's bring this over. Now the recipe actually calls for a brioche bun. But instead of saying that they weren't available, 
I'm going with potato roll because that's how we do for the Black Family Reunion, honey. We will serve you a potato bread, a potato roll. That's the way, like, that's how you know when you like fancy. You don't just get, like, the regular old rolls. You go ahead and get the potato rolls because that's, like, upgrade, you know. That's, like, exclusive. That's fancy. You don't spend some money if you went ahead and got the potato rolls, right? Okay. So, we have already, even though we were able to get this chicken uh, thigh done. I didn't know if that was gonna happen for you guys, but it did. So we're just gonna get, we went ahead and we did one in advance. Cause I thought I was Rachel Ray or somebody. We went ahead and did that. So I'm gonna get our bun on here, toast her up right quick. Cause that's how you gotta do it. Let's get, what you gonna do? Yeah, let's go ahead and toast. There. And now, we're gonna make a little sauce. Mm, pause. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Okay, now this one's actually very similar to the spicy aioli that we made before, but we're gonna do it again because that's what the recipe calls for. Okay, so we've got our mayo. A little bit, yep. We've got our mayo, do a little dollop. A little another. Thank you. Because mm -hmm. you were gonna fall and try to play me. I already know, I already know. We are gonna do hot sauce. You know, just, you know, be liberal with it. <laughs> however you want to do it we know Don Bun Master Chef Amateur Quarantine Cook likes it spicy okay and a little cayenne pepper and let's just waste not want not there we go and you know guys I want you to use this little thread here use the comment section and just talk about how you feel because that's what this is. If there is anything that I can do, little old me, for any of you, you just let me know because I am always accessible via the internet. And like, if we need to talk about things, let's do it. If you need to go ahead and use this thread as a venting area, how you feeling? Are you uh, exhausted? Are you empowered? Are you feeling ready to hit the streets and like save the world? What are you feeling like? Cause we're all kind of taking this a little bit differently. Um, you know, there's quarantine. There is a civil rights movement. It is pride month, happy pride month, everybody. So there's like a lot of stuff going on. So I wanna know how you feel about it. Um, I feel like I am pretty vocal. <laughs> on social media if uh, we are Facebook friends or if you follow me on Instagram I think you gotta know my take on it all <laughs> I post all day long and um, it's been a lot like these last couple weeks have been awfully aggressive but like I'm, I'm here for it I'm here for the changes it's time like I don't know if I'm ready for the world to open back up of course we wanted to but like I'm nervous I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it 100 like there's a little bit of anxiety about getting back into the world because it's gonna be new um, things are going to be different. Am I going to have to wear a mask? Am I going to feel okay getting my nails done? Am I going to want you to do my wax? I don't know. But, um, you know, we got to figure out, like, how we're going to feel when it opens. Um, are your friends surprising you by some of the comments? Are they surprising you with your silence? There is a lot going on on social media. How are you feeling about it? How are you taking it? Do you feel supported and loved? Do you feel alone? What are you feeling like? Okay, toasty buns. Yes. As it should be. Pop, pop. Okay, let's set you up here. And let's assemble our food for the soul chicken sandwich. All right, so this looks nice and spicy. She's going to have some fire, just like Don Bun Master Chef. 
Thanks for that, Deb. But you know what? I think I have a good balance of Umi's tenderness. Thanks for that, Umi. That's all because of you. Because if it was just 100% Dad's fire, whoo, buddy! I don't know. I don't know. God rest his soul. Thanks, Daddy, because I did need some of it. I did. All right. Now, we've got our crispy, delicious chicken thighs. Now, the only reason, because these guys, these are kind of big, and we want it to kind of fit like a little bit neater on the bun. So we're just gonna do a little situation like this. And we're gonna take the bigger piece and put it up on here. But before I finish, I almost forgot. I did it up this week, y'all. Let me just tell you. I made some college greens. Thanks for Medea. <laughs> yes, I did. Let's get, because how could I not? If we gonna have a whole fried chicken sandwich, we have to have a little side. I know I have not done a side, but on this week, I had to do it for my people. So yep, I made some collard greens to go on the side of this fried chicken sandwich. Um, and you know, I've been doing kale lately because you know, I can have a little in my bowl, a little on my plate, a little in my smoothie. But we had to go for real, for real. If we gonna do soul food, we had to do it. So I'm gonna pop these in the microwave. Let's get you together. Thank you. Don't judge the microwave, guys. I know people are keeping it healthy and keeping it natural. Don't judge me for it. We're just, we're, we're for here. We need to have it hot for here. We need to do it quick, fast. Okay. We've got our cute little pickle picker. Get that together. Okay. Now, there we go. It's cute. There it is. All right, I know, I know. You're fighting me. You're fighting me. Okay. Okay. Popeyes ain't got nothing on me, y'all. Ow. I said it. <laughs> All right, we are going to pop you over there. Slide that out of the way. Hey now, there it is. Perfect timing. Okay, yes. Now let's, what we need, what we need. There we go. Let me just get a little scoop de doop of the college greens. There we go. Now, if you come from a particular family that doesn't always eat collard greens, I know, you know, if you're not from the South or if you are not a black family, might not have had collard greens or not know how to make them. But whatever it is that you do, don't go up in there and call them college greens because they're going to think, that your black friends are uneducated. <laughs> but you know, I like to have fun. I like to do it. I will never forget. I'm gonna go ahead and tell them the story. <laughs> and I don't know if anybody who's watching was there. I will never forget. I went to a little work barbecue. And, um, you know, it was a little, little potluck situation. And all the folks were there. And most of the folks there did not look like myself. Um, but like I went ahead and we, we brought some greens, like that's just what we did. Um, and there were a lot of things on the table, but those poor little collard greens, they were sitting there, they were trying so hard. They were trying so hard. They were like, look how good we look. You're going to try this out. And everybody was walking by the table like, what is that? Like people really didn't know. They had never seen it before, like up close in person, right? So by the end of the night, <laughs> me and Ephraim were the only ones that had some. Nobody even tried it, child. Have you ever gone somewhere and somebody asked you to take what you brought back home? <laughs> but guess what? Like, 
you didn't play us because we would have had anything called Breeze for the rest of the week. Like, it was fine. I would much rather take them home and not have somebody throw them away. But, yeah, it was a different experience. Like, I just didn't know that, you know, some people didn't know what it was. They, they had never tasted it before. But here we are. Oh, you know, I got to clean it. It's presentation. We're all about presentation here at Feed Me. Okay. Family, here you have it. Let's get you out of the way. Here we have on a deliciously toasted potato bun, the food for the soul chicken sandwich, AKA Popeye's chicken sandwich that the world went crazy for. I swear that's what started this all. Along with some Don Bun Master Chef Amateur Quarantine Cook homemade collard greens that I so lovingly nicknamed college greens because Tyler Perry, because Medea. Now, I just want to fill that up because it has to be cute. Cute for the people. Don't spill it. There we are. A little bit more in the mix. Yep, there we go. And here we are. We have our soul food dinner and our blackity black, black or the berry, blackberry caipirinha punch. I'm gonna have another sip just because. Mm -mm -mm. Take a look, get up in that. Yep, there it is. Family, this has been so much fun. You have no idea every week coming up with new ideas, hoping that you guys are gonna love it. Um, coming up with meals and the shows and listening to soundtracks and remembering so much of the stuff that I love because I have loved Broadway and show tunes my entire life. Thank you, Umi, for that introduction. Um, I love making craft cocktails. I am not just a drinker. <laughs> I like to create. And this has been so fun because quarantine has given me a chance to do something that I have not done, which is research drinks and make stuff and use different alcohols and different ingredients that I have never tried before. Thank you so much, Theater Horizon, and everybody over there at Howling Bell, Rebecca, Brian, and all the folks, you have given me such an, uh, an incredible time to be able to do this. Guys, it is a tough time right now. We are all going through a lot. We are all handling things so differently, but speak up. Be strong, be brave, talk about how you feel, even if it's uncomfortable, even if it makes the people who are following you and your friends, if it makes them think, if it makes them say, I never knew that was happening before, I never knew you felt like that before, say it anyway. If you have a brand, if you are, are, are a social media personality, if you are a performer or an artist and you're afraid to say something, speak up because we all need to hear it. People need to hear your story. They need to hear how you feel because you might help somebody else to talk about how they feel. Um, if you need me, if you wanna talk, if you wanna vent, if you wanna talk about these recipes, hit me up on Theater Horizons Facebook page or find me on Instagram at Don Bun Master Stylist or if we're already Facebook friends, slide up in my DMs talk to me because I'm here and I want to talk and I want to help. Um, am I forgetting anything? I am not forgetting anything, but for the piece de resistance, I have to thank my number one, my hitter, my one team production company, my village. Everybody say hello to Nicole. She has held me down throughout this whole feed me season. This is her kitchen. Come on over, boo. <laughs> she very reluctantly got on camera with me. <laughs> and I want to thank her so much. So, thank, thank you so much, Nicole. This has been so much fun. Like, not only is she just like my camera person and my prep person, and she's all the things. We do the groceries. We do the things. She listens to me vent. She helps me put all this together. And I couldn't have done it without her. Like, I literally couldn't have done it without her. <laughs> so thank you for the use of this beautiful space and all the things in it. I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you so much. 
Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies Let it resound Loud as the rolling sea I love you guys. Thank you. Black Lives Matter. I love you.